striking. Welcome back. Winners round one still. We have Endai as Falco and Dr. B as crowd favorite Blue Ring. I'm gonna go to two shot. Oops. Let's go and see what they're banning. Yeah, they banned. Uh, uh, Battlefield's really good for, I'd say both probably. It's pretty even. Um, just depends. Falco can actually be a god on Battlefield. So what do you know? Nothing. <laughs> Do I play game one? So, Dr. B has trouble with Sped, which is another Falco. But curious if any of that uh, trouble would carry over to this. It looks like not. Uh, we got a one down for the Dr. B kill. That's pretty cool. Whoa. I wonder how much of it has to do with um, just Sped knowing the playstyle compared to Endai, like how to play against Link. Right. Because he's weird to play against. Yeah, you die from things that you never think would kill. Like yeah, you, you wouldn't think standing up B would kill you. Yeah. Like a shine would. It's definitely... I remember when I first moved here, um, playing Dr. B was a nightmare. <laughs> I had no idea. And I played Peach at the time. Hmm. So just getting stuff thrown at me the whole time felt weird. Yeah, he just kind of overwhelms you until you're off stage and then he outbuilds you. And he's got a pretty uh, solid combo game too. I see a lot of similarities between like Link and a lot of other low tiers, where it their game plan is more or less just throw out hitboxes. Just overwhelm your opponent and make a mistake mm -hmm. and then capitalizing off of it. And a lot of why low tiers succeed is because they have such a good combo game against spacies. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's something that you just saw this game. He only had to hit him a few times and then he's dead. So I'd probably go Yoshi's if I was Falco. If I really wanted to win, I'd probably go with D, play Campy. Oh, we got Pokemon. May work for him. Yeah, he's having a lot of clubs. Oh, here we go. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to approach Link, and his approach options aren't the best. But his out of shield option is one of the best in the game, so it's a. Uh, it's a trade off. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Edge guarding him is. Um, could have been harder. <laughs> it's usually really difficult. Yeah, usually you just kind of have to let Link back because he can just kind of get back on stage and there's not a whole lot you can do without risking losing your stock. Yeah, he gets one straight hit on his uh, a B and you're off stage. And then... Especially the last one that yeah. you can't really like tell. It's like diagonal. And... Okay. Got another one. He's doing a lot better this game. Yeah. Stadium probably helped him. Ooh. Grab Ridge. No, that's what we were just saying. Uh. It happens. Uh, like he's, he's headbanging down there. <laughs> yeah, it seems really easy. Link can just kind of convert off of um, missed edge guards. Grab the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing a little safe. I feel like hmm, I never want to wait transformation out, but it's probably a good idea. If you're at a high percent, I personally just go in. If your back's against the the wall, like literally, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, like for both sides, it's probably their best option to just wait because. Mm -hmm. I feel like Endai would take a lot of um, a lot of damage trying to get over the rock.
to Dr. B because he was just get, throwing bombs and boomerangs and arrows. <laughs> you just have to play patient against Link. Definitely. Patience is super key in the matchup. Um, that's what makes Link look really terrible as a character. But it, all it takes is two or three like safe, un, safe, unsafe approaches, and you die. So that could be really discouraging when you just, especially as Falco or Fal or Falco or Fox, you can shoot lasers, get some more percent, and get them to come to you. Okay. And that's right. a quick one. Um, it happens. Yeah. It's like already hard enough to play the game uh, with top tiers. <laughs> And then throwing in some of those low tiers, look at you. Yep. So, who we got up next? Who play? 